Greetings and welcome to the Wednesday Afternoon Vodcast Podcast. I have actually only purchased two sleeveless shirts. Why do I do these things to myself? Why do you make me do these things? No, we're not doing the white lightning chocolate today. We're going to do it either tomorrow or Friday. Um, we'll see how things work out. Tomorrow is my anniversary, so probably not tomorrow, maybe Friday. So we, I promise you before the end of Friday, you will have the white lightning chocolate challenge video. But we're not here for that today. We have glad and sad tidings. <clears throat> what do you guys want first? I can wait. I can wait all fucking day. No, I can't. I have... Uh, I got nothing to do today. Um, so this package is the one I've been waiting for. There's actually another package in the other room, but you're going to have to wait until July to hear more about that package. I might drop a few hints, maybe a little, you know, tidbit here and there. But right now, I don't want to share that until something's ready to go. Uh, it could be fun. It could end up being a dud. But either way, I'll film it, and I promise you I will share it in the end. But today, this is the package my good friend Jess Carlozzi sent me. I've been waiting for this, and... Um, I don't know what it is. It's 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 something related to something I said on the show at one point. So uh, first and foremost, thank you, Jess. Um, that's very nice of you, and it gives me reason to be here today. And then second of all, the sad news. <coughs> this. This is the letter that Jess had left for my godfather. Um, he, does, he doesn't live there anymore, unfortunately. Um, I got super fucking excited. Like, I was like, oh, my God. I, I can't open it yet. I got to go get in front of a camera. <laughs> that was my first reaction. I want you guys to know that, that like, I love the, the, the let's get racist. I love doing that. Unfortunately, I got nothing. I mean, this is, this is all I've got. This is all the information I've got. The man no longer lives at the address. He could still, he could be dead at this point. I know he was old. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just leave it sealed. I don't, I don't see any point in opening it. You know, it's a little, Little thing that when maybe my grandkids or great grandkids, um, maybe when my great 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 grandkids are rifling through my toys and shit, they'll come across this and be like, "What the fuck is that about?" I don't know. So let's 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 lighten the mood a little bit. Slice into this and see what we got. I will gut you like a pig. What did you do, Jess? What did you send me? What it... Okay. It feels like a package of, like, things inside. Like a candy package. They're... They're round by nature. The package itself has almost like a... Um, instead of a gloss, it's almost like a... Uh, uh, a matte finish to it. You ready? Let's just find out. Oh, super lemon. Oh, my God. Nice. This video just turned into something entirely different, did it not? Okay, this is exciting. Let's do this. Let's do this right now. Fuck that letter. I'm super excited. Let's get racist together. Let's get sour together. Okay. Uh -oh. God damn it. I don't look cool in my glasses. Okay. <laughs> super lemon. Oh, juicy. <laughs> I'll show you the picture in a second. Super lemon candy. Lemon tart powder. Mild lemon candy. Okay. It's mostly an Asian. Uh, Japanese extreme super sour intense candy challenge. Oh, no. This is a real challenge. You know what? Before I can put any thought into it, I'll try to read the front of it while I'm eating it. I'm so excited right now. I fucking love sour stuff. This is going to probably fuck my stomach up, but nonetheless... And when I am done with these, you know what I'm going to do with this little thing here? Go on my trash trophies. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure there's no instructions. No, I don't see anything. Oh my god. I mean, they can't be more sour than like a warhead. Like that, that's, I can eat those like they're nothing. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that little beauty. Look at her. Oh, it's all powdery. Oh, yeah, the oh juicy. Um, there's a little picture there. Wouldn't it be funny if while I did this, I was actually switching out the candy down here for something else? I didn't. But it'd be funny if I did, wouldn't it? 
Mm -mm. Okay. Super lemon. Oh, noble. Oh, juicy. Mm. What's super lemon candy? Nobel super lemon candy. Wa, awa, waza, dokin, supai, shigeki. I can't read that. Hmm. That's really sour on the outside. Very warhead like. It's inducing a lot of saliva in my mouth. Which isn't a bad thing today. I've had a few dry mouth days lately. I don't know what it is. It just hurts. It's hurty. Or, well, we'll sit and talk for a few minutes because I'm not going to chew into this because it would shatter my teeth. Hmm. Even the candy inside is a little sour. Hmm. Hey, let's let's stick with the questions theme. I don't know if it's going to get super powerful in the middle, but if it does, I'll just cut to the end. Unless I come up with some good questions here. Okay. If you were in a dinner party, not in a dinner party, if you were at a dinner party and were offered a dish you had never tried, would you want to taste it even if it sounded strange and not very appealing? Yeah. Yeah. I'll try just about anything once or twice, you know? You gotta try it at least twice. Sometimes the first time. This is really sour. Like, somebody didn't prepare it correctly or something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I always try new foods. I never did growing up, and my son Grayson won't, and it disappoints me because I see now what a disappointment I was. Now, <laughs> It's not a disappointment. It's just I wish he would try things because there's such great food out there that I learned about later in life. But I guess as your taste buds develop, things change. Hmm. What if anything is too serious to be joked about? I don't know. Nowadays, it's really hard to say. I agree that we should be very sensitive to everyone's needs and try not to do any harm or hurt anybody's feelings. But at the same time, I don't know at the same time, um, the, the humor aspect of things, I don't, I don't think anything is really off limits when it comes to comedy and humor or, you know, writing at all in general, like sour, but there are topics that I think generally you want to avoid. Like, have you, guys, have you guys ever heard the, um, the Aristocats, the Aristocrats, the, the joke? I'm not going to tell it here because it's vile. Just look it up. Okay. Now that you know my opinion on that. If you were having difficulty on an important test and could safely cheat by looking at someone else's answers, would you do so? Hmm. I'm not morally above it. Um, I never really had to, like... I usually was pretty good at school, at the schools. I mean, if it was something like critical nowadays, no, probably not. I don't think. When the fuck am I ever going to have to take a test for the rest of my life? Is there another test coming up? Is there any test that you have to take later in life? I mean, eye tests and ear tests and shit like that, but blood tests but I mean there's no like you know when you get your license that's a test you have to pass before you can drive I think we're done with that now I don't know I just want to go live in the woods near a big stream in a cabin I want to stare up at the stars if you had the choice of one intimate soulmate if you had the cho <laughs> there's a consistency to the sourness like that's what I love about these warheads. Like as soon as you get off the, you know, all the, the sour stuff off the top of it, it's gone. You're done. This just, it, it keeps coming. It keeps going. We're getting close to the middle here. So I'll let you know what happens when it happens. I like that one. Let's try another one. That one's stupid. 
If you could prevent an, either an earthquake in Peru that would kill 40,000 people, a crash at your local airport that would kill 200 people, or an automobile accident that would kill an acquaintance of yours, which would you choose? Well, if we're, we're just saying acquaintance, I would go with the, you know, the Peru, the 40,000. Why wouldn't you? Unless you just hate Peruvians. All right. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm not there yet. Mm. Okay, here's the last question. Do you feel that advice from older people carries a special weight because of their greater experience? When I was younger, I would have said yes. But with age doesn't necessarily come wisdom. Wisdom is something that is attained, I think, through self-searching and becoming a better person, more knowledgeable. And I think a lot of, not, in, not an entire generation, but older generations for the longest time, we always looked at them as the ones that had the knowledge. But, I mean, I think you should listen to everybody if they've got advice or something they want to say and then take from it what you will. But I don't know about old people these days. The older I get, I'm like, I'm full of shit. I wouldn't take advice from me. Okay. We just busted into the center. Nothing inside. I won the super lemon sour, super, super lemon sour challenge. Yay! Thank you, Jess, for sending that. It was really good. Now, actually, we'll eat all of those because I love those. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit that little bell icon down the bottom. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>